Hey everyone, it's Jason here with a new update for Fire Jumpers Inferno. So over the last couple of months I've been working on the units and how they interact with the fire as well as how they interact with the terrain because there are 40 different types of uh, terrain or fuel codes that, um, that I use. So let's come and take a look here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got some roads here, so load some units. Uh, now the units, when they get loaded, uh, they are random, but they do try to land on a road. Um, so I can click in different areas, and you can see them pop up in different different places. Uh, let's see here. Bring them closer. Yeah, kind of closer to this area. All right, so let's increase the game speed. Let's go, let's just say 10, and we'll grab the engine here. The engine can only be on the road, uh, but it does look for any kind of road tile within its effective radius. Uh, if it tries to go off-road, uh, it will stop and try to come back. And then this way you can come back. But the thing is that uh, using just GIS data, we have little gaps in the road and I wanted to be able for the engine to be able to kind of skip and keep finding roads so that it doesn't actually uh, get stuck anywhere uh, this might be a bit tough to get here maybe uh, if I get to here can you get all the way across we'll see and yes all right so this hopefully will help uh, with the fact that some of these roads are kind of broken. Um, as for the units here, let's grab this guy. Uh, these guys can go off-road, uh, but they are way smaller. Uh, let's speed here because, I mean, they are moving, but uh, let's increase the game speed just to make this a little bit more fun. Here's 100. Um, one of the things uh, to kind of pay attention to is as they're running, they will change their speed based on the most popular terrain in the area. So uh, maybe this is, might be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit slower. Let's take a look. Yeah, so that's at that speed. And then we'll take a look when it when it reaches the road here how it will start to speed up in its um, in its running and there we go there we go and so it will interact now once I start building a lot of the other units uh, they all have their own kind of uh, interaction with the terrain. Uh, so let's start a fire. Uh, let's come over here. Start a fire here. Two hours. Say three hours. Okay. Whoa. All right. So here we go. We've got this fire, and you got your units here. He is going to be probably too far to reach. Yeah. So we'll start another fire just for him. Okay. We should definitely let's uh let's bring up the game speed to fifty. We'll get rid of the smoke. And here's this unit here. All right. Now, as the unit uh, gets within its effective radius of fire, it starts to automatically fight that fire. In this case, this guy, he suppresses, and so he will uh, create a little line between uh, the fire and the unit. Now, it doesn't mean that the unit is, th this means the unit is anywhere within this area, which is why he's kind of like jumping around. Um, now, also, as this unit is coming up, the line thickness between this guy and you'll see this team here uh, 
there we go. So uh, this unit has a higher suppression um, rate than this unit. And so this guy will be able to fight the fire significantly faster. And it is proportional. So if this guy is like about three times, yeah, that would be about three times uh, strength here. So uh, yeah. And so even uh, this guy. Now, right now, there's they're they're all infinite water. I haven't connected the uh, water uh, tank or whatnot to to the units, uh, but I will be doing that soon. But I just kind of wanted to show you what was happening with with the units here and how they interact with fire and basically how they they move. And this is how the gameplay. And because you can change the game speed, you this will allow, uh, you know, kind of more fun if I wanted to go up to like 200. You're like, okay, you know what, let me just go really fast here. Can this guy contain it by himself? This is the head of the fire usually. This is not what you want to do, but... And I believe it's, is it starting to get dark? You can kind of see the, the shadows um, of the sun, right? Because it's, it's starting to uh, starting to set. And this guy. And so you can see we can have uh, different, different kind of game speeds for this guy, he can't. He just cannot go any further here. Can I at least contain this one before I get to the next one. Oh my God! Okay, let's see. Can he go over here? You come and help him out. Come and help him out. Oh yeah, the fire is coming around again. Now it's night time, um, and there we go. Now at this point, once I do have air aircraft, uh, they will be um, they won't be able to fly at this point. All right, I think that is roughly it. I just kind of want to contain this fire for this video. Can I do it? Yes, I think I can. Let's get this guy over here. And this is roughly kind of the uh, the gameplay, except there's going to be much larger fires and a lot more units. And uh, I'll have to kind of uh, work out. There we go. Ta-da. We got it. I like it. All right. Well, uh, that is uh, the end of my video demonstration, just showing the different kind of units. Uh, what I'm also kind of working on is hopefully uh, kind of a testing website. Uh, hopefully you guys can um, uh, be able to kind of explore and do a little bit of testing for me. So hopefully I can get all that uh, in the next month or so before Christmas. Uh, so let's see if I can get all those things done. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I'll see you in the next video.